Hi everybody, sorry I can't be with you today, but I put together this uh, quick video to get you started on your PowerPoint presentations. Uh, before we begin, make sure you have your paper in front of you that uh, lists out all your information about the name of the place that you want to go to and all the details about it. You might also want to spend a little bit of time in uh, Google Images and get a few pictures of uh, some of the famous sites that you want to go see and also a really good map that would highlight where the location is. So why don't you go ahead and do that and then come back to the video when you get that information set up. Alright, now <clears throat> once you get that set up you want to go to the start button at the bottom left hand corner, go to all programs, find Microsoft Office and go across and down to you find Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007. This is the latest version of PowerPoint. It's uh, kind of different from the previous version but extremely easy to use. It has this concept of tabs up here at the top and if you look at the name of the tabs it'll kind of guide you as to what you can do when you click on that tab. We're going to start off at the home tab and just to make this a short video so that it's not too difficult to upload um, for the substitute teacher, I'm going to go pretty quickly and you guys can stop the video whenever you need to. First thing you need to do is set up a structure for your slideshow. We need a total of 10 slides. So what I'd like for you to do now is go right to the top button up here where it says new slide and click on it once. Choose the title and content slide and do that until you have 10 slides. You should see the number 10 at the bottom of the outline on the left hand side. This shows you all the different slides in your slideshow. So we have a total of 10. Click on the first one and what you want to do is you want to add a title for the place that you're going to. So mine is going to be Rome, Italy. Okay, the subtitle you want to put your name because you are the presenter. Second slide. Click on the second slide in your outline and this is basically going to follow the pattern and the order that's on your piece of paper. So first we have the name, second is going to be location. Third, fourth, and fifth, each one of those slides is going to be for the sites, the famous or significant sites to see. So I'm going to just put this as a a uh, way to remind myself later on what I'm going to put here. So slide number three is going to be site one. Slide number four is going to be site two. And of course, obviously, if you know the names of your sites already, you can put that in the title. Um, and this is going to be site three. Okay. Slide number six, as you can guess, is going to be interesting facts. Slide number seven, type currency. Slide number eight, history. And slide number nine, weather. Oops, spelling counts. Okay. Slide number ten, let's leave that blank for right now. Okay, let's go back up to slide number two. Okay, what I want you to do for each one of the slides right now is I want you to put down some keywords that are going to help you remember what you want to say when the slide is up and you are talking in front of the class. You should not put down full sentences. I could read and so can everybody else in the class. If you have full sentences, I don't need to listen to your presentation. So what you want to do is put down keywords that are going to give you a clue and remind you as to what to say and gives your audience a clue and gives them an idea as to what you're about to say. So for example, for a location, I could put down, um, it's in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, it's in Southern Europe. Um, shaped like a boot.
and surrounded. Um, let's say water. Got to be able to spell today. Water on three sides. Hmm, what does that mean? It's a peninsula. But I'm just going to say water on three slides, sides for now. Okay, so you see what I did? I put down keywords, did not put down sentences, and this will give everyone a good idea as to where the location of Italy is, um, but not laid out for them in full sentences. Um, what I want you to do for each slide is that I want you to put down notes like this, similar to this for each one. So for example, for site one, you're going to put down, let's say, five or six bullet points that are going to tell us the who, what, when, where, and why about that site. Why am I going? Why is it interesting? How much money does it cost to get in? When can I go? And so on and so forth. And do that for slide um, for slide four and slide five. And you're going to continue that pattern on till you get down to slide nine. All right, so do not do anything else for PowerPoint today. Don't bother with flying words, colors, shapes, anything else. Just create the basic structure. And when you're done, don't forget to go to the button at the top left-hand corner of the screen. Go to Save As. And you want to make sure under Save In, you find your name. And you give your file uh, a specific name. Mine just says Rome, Italy. I'm going to go with that and hit save. Okay? If you get all that done today, I'll be thrilled. I'll see you on Thursday, guys. Bye.